Welcome back to Beyond the Sprue. My name is Jim and before we get down into this week's scale model releases, have a quick look at the video and I'll ask you a question about it afterwards. UAVs are being used more and more in modern warfare, but they've been around for quite a long time and were first used during World War II and were called drones back then and of course a lot of us know them as drones. The US Navy used a drone which they called the TDR-1 and the question is what was a notable feature of the TDR-1 drone used by US Navy during World War II? A. It was the first drone equipped with a laser targeting system. B. It could be operated autonomously without any human input. C. It was equipped with a television camera for remote piloting. Or D. It used jet engines for propulsion. Answer at the end. Border models are releasing a new Sherman M4A176 w this is coming in 135 scale interesting box art showing the tank they wish you to buy has been knocked out apparently the inspiration for the box art came from the film the fury true life models of slovenia are producing a resin kit model with photo etched parts of an m83 spat rocket launcher and that's going to be in 135th scale SS models producing a 3D printed German Flakpanzer and that's going to be in 172 scale. Mini Art are producing a new Zonderkraft Fahrzeug 234-2 Puma. This one is without interior but does come with photo etch and options for open and closed hatches. Good attention to detail as always and that's in 135 scale coming with options for six different schemes ranging from 1944 to 1945 and from the eastern front down to the battle of the bulge amusing hobby are producing a black eagle or object 640 in 135 scale this was a presumed prototype main battle tank based upon the t80u developed by the KBTM Design Bureau in the late 90s for the Russian Federation. The project was cancelled, with all production and development halted in 2009. It does look like a cracking tank though. I see I'm producing in 135 scale an unusual burger panzer with a Panzer KPFW4 turret. This was taken from a historical photograph they say as an unusual modif modification of the Burger Panzer under field conditions. And Toby Link have released some images of a new D7G bulldozer in 135 scale, expanding the catalogue of engineering battalion offerings. It is a resin kit and it's the early version. And Miniata producing in 135 scale a three ton cargo a truck, comes with photo etched parts, some clear plastic parts six options for different variants the doors and the hood can be assembled in open or closed positions and it has a high detailed engine compartment transmission brake and steering systems land mode models are producing a new soviet ba 64b light armored car that's in 135 scale and comes with what looks to be rubber tires and open and closed hatches and some fairly good detail. Vespid have announced a new one in 35th scale British Cruiser Mark 8 Challenger. And they have also announced a new German K51 Panther in 172 scale. Quite excitingly, T model have announced a new 172 Buffalo 6x6 MCPVA A1. This first edition comes with bonus two resin figures and tactical gear. Looks to have some very good detail 
and comes with photo etch parts and resin wheels. Could be built in four schemes, two from the Iraq war and two from the Afghan war. And Thunder models are producing a DRG class 80 locomotive and that's coming with a couple of tankers uh, that's expected in the winter of this year. It will be in 135 scale and looks to have some absolutely amazing detail. As I mentioned on a previous episode, Cop State models are producing a Werner Voss uh, posing with a motorcycle. Uh, and now he's going to have a couple of companions, a German dispatch rider and one's standing and one's riding a motorcycle as well. Jeff Shu released a new set of large scale figures. These were in 1 and 16th scale, designed for the M16 multiple gun motor carriage. Absolutely cracking detail on these. Um, I will leave a link in the description to his website. Other name miniatures are producing some new World War II British paratroopers and German soldiers and they've got some 148 and 135 scale figures and you can go on their Facebook page and speak with them directly if you're interested in any of these products. And ICM have produced some new moulds of tank crew of the armed forces of Ukraine depicting Armed Forces Ukraine in modern uniform. The Bodhi have produced two new figures. Both of these were in 135 scale, cast in resin. One is the Waffen SS half truck crewman, and the other is a French mountain trooper, both from World War II. And ICM have given us more images of the upcoming CH-54A Tahi and this looks to be an absolute cracking model, it really does, in 135 scale. The length is going to be 774mm, height is 225mm and 697 parts. If you don't do metric 774mm is approximately 2.5 foot and the height is uh, just over 8 inches. It also comes with its own paint set. Kinetic models are releasing an F-16D and these are going to be in the colours of the United States Air Force Thunderbirds display team in 148 scale. Hobby Boss have announced a new Grumman TBM 3 Avenger and that's going to be a 172 scale. Akatumbu Works have announced a new model of the Interstate TDR1. This is going to be a 172 scale and in overall width it will be about 20 centimeters, about 8 inches and the total length will be about 15 centimeters, about 6 inches. And revisiting Magic Factory's Douglas A4M Skyhawk in 48 scale, they've released some more images of the upcoming cockpit, looking to have some excellent detail. And Fine Mold's F15J Aggressor is due to be released next month, and they've put together a model to tickle our fancy, and this is in 172 scale. And fly models are released in this month for 172 scale editions of the Caparuni CA100. One is a land version and the other is a float version, two of each. And staying with biplanes, Luke Graf are now taking pre-orders on their resin based BWS26 trainers. These will be in 132 scale, 148 scale and 172 scale looking like some really good detail on the resin parts there. They do advise that shipping can take up to 60 days from placing the order on their website. And ICM are producing a 148 scale Bristol Beaufort Mark 1 during the bombing raid. 
comes with two touch bombs, two 50 pounders or 500 pounds, and a set of World War II RAF decals. And Rush Models are planning to release a new Slingsby Type 31 trainer glider in 148 scale. Used extensively by the Air Training Corps between 1951 and 1986, it was designed and built by Slingsbury. The model will include plastic sprues, photo etch parts, 3D printed parts and some silk screen decals. Remember to please drop me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get down to the question. What was a notable feature of the TDR-1 drone used by the US Navy during World War II? If you said the answer was C, it was equipped with a television camera for remote piloting, you would have been correct. Thanks for watching. See you next week.